<laughs> Small water problem. Soaking wet. Switch. I made a garbage can. So it was our bathroom that flooded a couple weeks ago. Flooded into the hall. Down the stairs. Through the ceiling. It went into our room as well, since we share a wall. And it made its way all the way down to the basement. Where we found probably like an inch water making things float around. It's a little loud in here thanks to all these wind moving equipment. Bam. Dry the place out. We're gonna dry it out. The restoration company came in right away and put in all these big heavy duty fans to dry out the place behind the walls and everything. And they were really, really, really loud. Luckily we were gone for the weekend that they were they were there. Down in the basement, uh, the company took away most of our stuff that was wet. Uh, we had a ton of laundry to do, wet towels and everything. So we're moving out. They want to rip apart our ceiling, floors and everything. So we're moving out for one month, approximately, to uh, an apartment hotel. So if you're gone for a month, how do you pack? It's pretty tough. We're at that tricky season in spring. It could be cold, could be really hot, so you need lots and lots and lots of different that, clothes. We've got shampoo in that, and we've got the other shampoo and conditioner. And does the place have towels? And how many towels should we take? It's moving day, so we have to kind of clear out the fridge. So we're kids, they love the pickles Jen made. And we're gonna have like condiments and some leftover fruit and hot dogs for lunch. Good pickle. <laughs> All right, here's some of the stuff we're taking. We're taking that kid too. Yeah. Let's start unloading. We just have to go up and down a few flights of stairs. <sighs> Is this where you're going to be staying? Yeah, but why is it scary? Let's go Elliot's down. already snuggled in. He's ready for a nap. Guess it must be comfortable. Oh, lucky you get a closet. This is our first night. Livia's making some lunches for tomorrow. We figured out a system to add all our lunch stuff into this cupboard. So we have this really great bathroom here. It's, you know, got a mirror and a sink. But the highlight the is the jet, the jet pool. Hello, you ready to come? I have to go. All right, turn it on. Ooh. There's bubbles in your hair. There's Elliot in the mirror. When you come up, there's a nice big mirror. Opens into this dining room area. And then there's a little sitting area with a nice fireplace. And then over here is a nice little living room area. What you watching, Oscar? I'm watching Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat? That means yeah. you have cable, which we don't have at home. And we are storing our games and stuff in there. And there's a nice selection of books for 
us to read. So from the living room, we'll go into this extra bedroom, which is where the kids are staying. So there's two big beds here. We brought a lot of our own pillows and blankets just to make it seem a little more like home. Olivia's got a little setup of her stuff and then there's you know, some laundry and things. And then there's this giant walk-in closet, which is awesome. It has a bunch of like shelving and things so you can hang up all your clothes. And so we have all the kids stuff and all the kids toys in here and it keeps things organized. It's great. <gasps> what you doing, Oscar? Just playing in the closet? I made a spider web with two same colors. Cool. Just outside the kitchen is a lovely little patio and a barbecue we can use. And this is the back way out walk down and get into our car. Mom? We should play. Mom? Mom? Elliot, we're going to the school. Come on, Elliot. Get in the car. And there's the master bedroom here with a big king-size bed, a little desk area, and a TV. We also have a couple of closets that are not very big or anything, but they hold our stuff. Stay here because it's so warm and the window's open. The window's open? That's your favorite part of this inn? Yeah, and I like even the tails in the back. This is the chair that you were talking about? You yeah, really like this chair. Oh, I, I love that light too. That's a really good choice.